Happy New Year and welcome to Financial Wellness. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that wished us a happy first anniversary and to those that wished me a happy birthday. Now, today we are going to have a slightly difficult conversation that I feel um, the society has really neglected it and it, it is causing a lot of um, disastrous effects to the community. Now, um, the topic will be creating wealth as a millennial. Who is a millennial? A millennial is anyone who was born from was born in the 90s upwards which uh, this definition is not limited you can have your own definition too and um, what makes a millennial to be um, a slightly different or what makes this generation to be slightly different what I like to bring to our attention is that this um, millennial generation, it's a unique generation because it's a generation that falls in um, between, uh, that falls when the world is transitioning from an industrial age to an informational technology age. So the millennials fall in between there and that is why you might find that most people from the um, industrial age are finding it hard or find it difficult to understand a millennial's view of things or opinion or perspective of things. Now, um, this brings me to my next point on uh, wealth. Now, most millennials, they have... Uh, slightly different mindset about wealth this is because we have the generation we are being brought in is um, is an era where we have been wired to believe that everything is just a click away or just a call away so we tend to think that everything we want um, including building wealth it's just a call away or it's just an overnight thing. Now, I beg to disagree with that because um, building wealth requires patience. It's, uh, it is a crock pot and not a microwave. We have been um, meant to believe that we are in a microwave society whereby Whatever you want, it's just in a second or in a day you have it. But when it comes to building wealth, it involves a lot of things. Number one being patience. Number two, you will also need to be disciplined. And number three, you, you will have to trust the process. It is not an easy process. It is a rigorous process that will cost you it will cost your time, it will cost your energy, it will cost your finances, but at the end, the fruits will be worthwhile. Now, um, so, uh, now, the result of this, that is being in a society where we believe that um, everything is just a call away, it has resulted to most millennials um, being engaged in things like betting um, things like getting a sponsor or a sugar mommy or sugar daddy just to be able to appear wealthy or to acquire things that the wealthy have or to just get um, uh, money uh, quick money in an easy way which um, I do not advocate for that because it is not, um, it's a wrong thing to do. And number two, it's going to backfire on you and um, the effects will be terrible. So how can one build wealth as a millennial? Today I will tackle two tools that you can use as a millennial to create wealth 
And number one will be uh, taking advantage of fixed deposit accounts. Now, uh, you might ask um, why a fixed deposit account? Why not a normal account? Why not a saving account? But the advantage with fixed deposit account is that they apply the compound interest rule. Now, the good thing with compound interest is that your money is able to grow with time. The only challenge that most people face with fixed deposit account is that um, most of the millennials don't have that patience to wait for one year or two years or five years for their money to grow. They don't have that patience and that is why it's a challenge. However, I would really urge you to take advantage of these accounts because your money tends to grow with time. So you will need to be patient, you will need to be disciplined to be able to take advantage of time so that this time can um, pay you back in, in form of growing your money. Oh, that's not a jargon. Anyway, basically, the thing is you need to, when you open a fixed deposit account, you will come to realize that uh, the longer the period, the higher the interest. And the shorter the period, the lower the interest. If you have um, checked most of the organizations that offer such kind of accounts, if you save with them for three to six months, the interest is usually lower. But if you save with them for longer periods, like one year, five years, 10 years, the interest is really um, higher compared to the shorter period. Number two is invest in stock markets. I know we've had a lot of um, people coming out and saying how it's a scam. Um, most people don't want to talk about it, but um, as a financial educator or a wealth coach, I would advise you to take advantage and invest in shares. You may not see the fruits now, but in 10 years, or five years or two years, you will be able to enjoy the fruits. Now, the challenge that most millennials face when it comes to investing in shares is that they do not know what share to invest in. So you can't just go blindly because if you go blindly to invest in shares, chances are high you will choose the wrong uh, companies to invest in and you will lose your money that is the risk factor of investing in shares you need to be um, strategic smart to know which companies you can invest in because there are companies you might invest in and you will um, lose while there are other companies you can invest in and you will gain now you don't need to worry about that because I have created an ebook that um, has a detailed analysis of um, specific company shares that you can invest in and uh, those that I feel um, they are not worth investing or they are worth to sell now. Now, the good thing with this ebook is that it, uh, it will save you the time you could have used to start researching on what share to invest in, uh, how to invest in it, what to expect. I have done all the research for you. All you need is you buy the ebook, have the money to invest, go to your broker or um, open an account with a broker and you're ready to go. Now you'll have a direction and you'll know what to expect at a certain period of time. Now, I'd just like to highlight that whatever is in that ebook, they are solely my opinion and uh, expectations and I will not be liable for any um, damages that may, may be caused because um, as I said, it's my 
personal opinion. You can take it or you can leave it, or you can choose otherwise. Now, this ebook it's um very very um interesting uh, short book. It's very simple, and I have really analyzed some of the great companies that we know of. And we have been able to tell how they performed um, previously, how they're performing currently, and how they will be performing in, um, in the future, and what we can expect from them. So this is a benefit um, you will get at a very, very discounted price. Um, most people pay for really a lot of money to get um, a investment forecast but um, for me being my birthday i feel like it's generous to just give back to you and help you help your future by giving it to you at a price of only two thousand shillings which is payable via mpesa or paypal for paypal details you need to request me um as a personal thing and once you uh, you do the payment i will be sending uh, you will have to share with me your email address and i will be sending you the ebook and for sure i believe you will benefit from it and you will create more wealth from that information now is that today i've just handled uh two wealth creation tools um, I'll be doing another video where we will um, tackle on other tools or other avenues you as a millennial you can use to create wealth and also um, other avenues that can help you to manage your wealth better. Now, I'd like you to share this video with your friends, with your family and with everyone that you care about because when you become wealthy it's really not impactful like when you your family your community your friends become wealthy you become wealthy together and you secure the bag together and the other note if you have any question you can write it down in the comment section i'll be replying to each and every one of you or if you have any um other topic on wealth accumulation you can just share with me and i will look into it and see if we can have a discussion on it